You shoot, GI, you shoot! Fuck! Even after so many years, Call of Duty is still one of the most played and liked video game series of all time, and it doesn't plan on stopping anytime soon if we were to follow the most recent news on the next game. Before we begin, make sure you guys drop a like on this video to give some support and let's start. When Activision announced that the Modern Warfare series will be getting a reboot with the 2019 Call of Duty game, fans all over the world rejoiced at the possibilities, and with reasons. Not only would the game allow the chance to replay with some of the fan-favorite characters, such as Captain Price, but it also meant that many beloved weapons, multiplayer maps and more from the Modern Warfare series could be getting a revive. Getting a Modern Warfare 4 wouldn't have been a good idea, since we would have lost many known characters, and a number 4 in a title isn't really appealing to new players. Those hopes came true as players came with hype to enjoy the reboot, and Modern Warfare is now the highest selling Call of Duty title of all time. That says something. Now why wouldn't the next Call of Duty game do the same? It's now been confirmed it is exactly what will happen with Call of Duty Black Ops. The next game is called Call of Duty Black Ops Cold War and is said to be a complete reboot. After little rumors started to emerge yesterday that the next entry in Activision's blockbuster Call of Duty franchise would be titled Black Ops Cold War, Eurogamer has backed up the speculation by confirming the name with its own sources. Led by Treyarch, this is said to be a return to the subseries' historical roots. Now the first one who leaked this info is called Okami on Twitter. Okami is the one person who leaked the Call of Duty Warzone Battle Royale and also Modern Warfare 2 Remastered, so he is more than legit. Eurogamer and Okami reports that teasing of the new game started yesterday after the bunkers in Call of Duty Warzone were unlocked for players, but there's more to come on that front. These hidden areas are supposedly set to slowly unveil a Cold War setting, although players have already glitched through walls and found a spy plane fit for the Cold War era. The teasing is officially starting and I'm a lot more hyped for this Black Ops reboot than I was for Modern Warfare. I just like the Black Ops series a bit more due to its more dark and gritty story and my favorite character Viktor Reznov. I really hope beloved characters like him will come back into the light. It doesn't sound like Activision is prepared to officially announce Call of Duty Black Ops Cold War just yet, but I think it's safe to say that this will be a cross-gen title. The publisher can take advantage of the power of the PlayStation 5 and Xbox, while also selling millions upon millions of copies on current-gen consoles. Should the Black Ops Cold War legit leaks prove accurate, the Treyarch series is on track to return to its roots. The first Black Ops entry, which it stores in 2010, took place during the Cold War in the 1960s. As of yet, there's no confirmation on exactly which decade this new entry will be, but I'm extremely excited for it. It was also rumored to take place in Vietnam and will see the return of Alex Mason and Frank Woods. It is also said to feature famous Cold War era events like the assassination of John F. Kennedy, but also a conspiracy that I believe called MK Ultra, a real government project in which people dose civilians with psychedelic drugs and perform psychotherapy to explore the possibilities of mind control without the person's consent. The rumor also teases an opening level where players are attacked in the dead of the night by Viet Cong forces with an emphasis on stealth gameplay after the initial attack. Originally, it seemed as if Treyarch would be creating Call of Duty 2021 next year, however, the developer has been moved up to Call of Duty 2020 due to many problems with another development team, giving it less time to create its game. Treyarch knows how to make game fast though, as Call of Duty 3 was created in just 8 months. It's also said other little companies are helping them for Call of Duty Black Ops Cold War, so I think it'll have no problem. The success of the Modern Warfare reboot is the perfect blueprint for a Black Ops reboot. One of the many great things about 2019's Modern Warfare is nostalgia, but the game itself is also developed with the core expectations that people expect, and that makes the series so special. The game launched with a controversial but epic single player campaign, also a multiplayer that is really good, and of course it's Warzone Battle Royale, which has to be one of the most popular battle royale out there. In the case of Black Ops Cold War, three modes would also need to be present in a reboot to capture magic, that being a campaign, multiplayer, and the beloved zombies, of course. 
Black Ops 4 came without a single player campaign, which is the biggest complaint to an otherwise pretty okay title. There's little doubt that a new Black Ops reboot would need a return to the dark and greedy campaign with our beloved characters, and fans wouldn't be happy with a campaign less Black Ops reboot. The Cold War and Vietnam setting is some of the most underrated at the moment of this video, so returning to that time is one of the best choices they could have made in my opinion. It's nothing futuristic or nothing too old like World War 1 or 2. With such little development time and the idea that Sledgehammer 2021 Call of Duty may have a dedicated battle royale, Treyarch may have had to pick its long beloved zombie mode instead of battle royale. Warzone from Modern Warfare may also simply be playable alongside the new Treyarch title. As rumors suggest, it'll grow and adapt alongside future franchise releases. Let me know what you all think of this and if you're happy for Call of Duty going back to Cold War and Vietnam. I'm personally super excited for it and I cannot wait to see what they can do with the campaign. Call of Duty games are typically revealed around May of every year, but things will probably be different this year. For one thing, there's the whole thing happening outside our homes right now that has delayed almost everything. We just had one latest news about Black Ops Cold War. Verdansk, the Warzone map, is now reportedly set to change in the coming weeks, suggesting new locations to become available that will make Warzone even more chaotic. The revamp map is said to be connected to the bunkers, which in turn are said to be connected with the new Black Ops installment, titled Cold War, releasing in 2020. In short, Infinity Ward will be paving the way to Black Ops by revamping the Warzone map for the fourth season. There's a PS5 digital event happening in the beginning of June and will reportedly have a massive amount of games revealed. I will definitely be covering everything coming out of this event or any other gaming event, so you guys can be informed. The next 3 months are going to be massive for gaming, as it is where most gaming companies are ready to announce something. I cannot wait. Make sure you drop a like for more gaming news and of course subscribe. Thanks to Jigglyboy and I am Legend for being a master member on the channel. You can become a survivor member for 99 cents only. It'll help me and the channel as a whole. Thanks for watching.